In a lot of cultures, seafood is quite the delicacy. That combined with the skill required in being a good angler can mean that fish can be quite pricey. But the fish in this video are even pricier than average. You'll need a golden wallet to afford these bad boys. These are the most expensive fish ever sold. Number 15. A woman finding a parrotfish, and inside the fish, a bunch of pearls. Well, this story seems fishy to me. Something just smells funny about it. A woman who was out gathering shellfish on the beach appears to make a very unusual discovery. She's mostly digging out clams and mussels, probably in search of pearls. Pearls do, in fact, form inside the shells of those creatures. These beautiful shiny beads are usually formed when an irritant of some kind, often a grain of sand, finds its way into the shell of a mollusk and gets trapped in there. To protect itself from the sand, the mollusk then makes a substance, the same stuff that it uses to form its shell, and coats the irritant with it. As time goes on, the process gradually forms the pearl. So, as pearls are much prized by humans and natural pearls are tricky to come by, there are farms where cultured pearls are made. The same method, but with human interference to ensure that the mollusks have lots of annoying sand or other items poked under their shells so that they feel compelled to turn them into pearls. That's why the idea of discovering a random dead blue fish on a beach that just so happens to be stuffed with multicolored pearls, well, that's a little bit suspect to say the least. Fish don't generally make pearls, so unless this fish just happened to eat a whole heap of randomly colored pearls, it seems like it's probably a little bit of artistic license. What do you think? Let me know about it in the comments below. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. These two fish have to be two of the most expensive pets we've ever heard about. The guy in this footage bought the two very special koi fish from the dark web, and they're truly dazzling. One has shimmering silver scales, while the other one's golden. They're so shiny and aesthetically pleasing, they almost look like they've burst straight out of an anime, but they are indeed very real. And they cost this guy a lot of money. They were a present for his mother, and as she says in the clip, they're like jewelry. And she's not wrong. He was looking for them for a very long time, and it cost him thousands upon thousands of dollars. Truly stunning, but also very expensive. Comment down below with the hashtag sweet topic and let me know what you think in relation to what I just showed you on the screen. And with that, let's keep things moving. Number 14. Most expensive tuna fish sold at auction. Moving on, here we have a fancy fish that we can all believe in. It was verified by the good people at the Guinness Book of World Records, so you know it's got to be legit. On January 5th of 2019 at the Toyosu Market in Koto, Tokyo, at the first auction of the year, a special bluefin tuna would be up for sale. This first market of the year is a bit of a celebration, so people are excited and eager to bid for some of the best fish to start the new year off right. So when the weighty 612 pound tuna went under the gavel, lots of excited bidders wanted a piece of the action. The eventual winning bid was a budget-busting $3.1 million, and it was sold to Sushi Zanmai of Kiyomura Corporation. And they indeed made some very tasty sushi out of this world record-breaking fish. Apparently though, despite it being the most expensive fish ever, they didn't charge extra for the sushi, just the regular daily prices. Might have missed a little bit of a trick there. Number 13. The world's second priciest fish purchased for just under 2 million. Another day, another massive fish. 
The second most expensive fish that was ever sold was, well you guessed it, a bluefin tuna. Weighing in at just 4 pounds less than the record breaker, this 608 pound fish would be sold to the same company at the very same auction just one year later. The colossal tuna was sold to none other than Kiyoshi Kimura, the self-proclaimed tuna king. Not because he has fins and scales, but because he claims to be the master of all things tuna. And he has the credentials to prove it. He had purchased and prepared one just like it last year. This time though, the Tuna King forked out a whopping $1.8 million for the auction's star lot. And when asked why he was prepared to spend so much for just one fish, he said, Yes, this is expensive, isn't it? I want our customers to eat very tasty ones this year too. The giant fish was estimated to be able to make up to 10,000 pieces of sushi, so that should fill a lot of people up. Number 12. Most Expensive Koi Fish – New World Record so, we go from eating massive fish to admiring the fancy ones. This is the most expensive koi that would ever be purchased, and it's got a name. When a fish has a name, you know it's probably pretty important. Buying and selling and showing koi carp is a serious business, and the very best fish can command astronomically high prices. This particular fish is known as S. Legend, and it's a 3 foot 3 inch long, red and white 9 year old koi carp, costing just a measly $1.9 million. Yeah. The record-busting fish would be sold at auction in Japan in 2018 to a collector from Taiwan. The winning bidder was Miss Ying Ying, and she planned to show the fancy fish at the annual All Japan Koi Show, where it would be expected to defend its title as, well, I guess, the best big koi. Anyway, this fish has been causing quite a stir in the specialized world of koi carp collecting, and it's expected that the new owner may well wish to breed the fish. Perhaps the keenest of collectors will be able to purchase a piece of the legend for years to come. But since the hammer price of this koi was a staggering $1.3 million more than any previous sales, the new owner has to be in the game for love and not profit, right? Because even the most prize-winning koi carp won't be bringing home the bacon. There's no cash reward. Number 11. $400,000 Platinum Arowana a platinum or albino arowana is a super rare fish. That much is true, but just how much you would be willing to pay for one of these creatures? Well, that's different altogether. These tropical freshwater fish are so rare that there are actually people willing to pay prices ranging from 15 grand all the way up to $400,000. I mean, if you're a Bond villain with a massive fish tank and spare cash on your hands, this might be the fish for you. They do look pretty cool after all, but these are pretty big and shiny, and what with all the other fish it'll eat, they're guaranteed to put on a show. Also, it turns out that they're super intelligent, and will get to know their owners, apparently recognizing individuals, which is pretty unusual for a fish. But if you live in the United States, these arowana guys are really kind of illegal to own. They're, in fact, so very rare that they're on the endangered species list, and that puts them out of reach for the general fish owner. Even if you did happen to have a spare 400 grand kicking around in the closet. Number 10. Freshwater Polka Dot Stingray, $100,000. Now, this is a pretty fish. The freshwater polka dot stingray is native to Brazil, but as its habitat becomes more and more at risk from pollution, these incredible and unique looking fish are increasingly endangered. Though, if you do happen to have a huge fish tank and a budget to match, there are ways to get your flippers on one of these extraordinary rays. For a price, that is. This one's going to set you back a wallet-stinging $100,000 to take it home. And they need their own space, because the polka dot stingray doesn't play well with others. Actually, they'll eat them, so definitely don't pop them in a tank with any other priceless specimens. That is, unless you're trying to make your bank manager cry. The freshwater polka dot stingray is certainly a snazzy dresser though, and if black and white decor is your thing, and you like your pets to match, 
these fish with their shiny black bodies and dazzling white spots are going to fit right in. They'll be the highlight of your MTV Cribs episode. Number 9. Peppermint Angelfish now, I don't know why all the movie heists are always about jewels or bank vaults. Aquariums, that's where the money is. And the Waikiki Aquarium in Honolulu is as good a place to start as any. These guys have a super rare, in fact, one of a kind, deep water peppermint angelfish. The holy grail of tropical fish, there are so few of these beautiful marine creatures ever seen that collectors immediately began offering the aquarium all kinds of silly amounts for the chance to take it home. Top offers even reached into $30,000 for one teeny little fish. But these guys are seldom seen, so it's no wonder that the surfacing of this peppermint peppermint angelfish would cause quite a stir amongst fans of the species, even if you do happen to find one of the creatures in the first place, to retrieve the deep water dwelling fish is also extremely difficult. They need to be brought to the surface in stages so as to decompress. Because you don't want your priceless possession to get the bends now, do you? Number 8. The Masked Angelfish Next up, we have another angelfish, but this one's got the charm and sophistication of the romantic hero in a 19th century French novel. The masked angelfish is known and loved for its dashing good looks. He has a marble white body and wears a black mask. What makes it just so alluring, though, is how elusive this fish has proven to be. Amongst one of the rarest, yet most sought after in all of the seven seas, the masked angelfish can command an astonishing $20,000. These handsome chaps hail mostly from the ocean, around the northwestern Hawaiian Islands, where they are offered certain protections by strict laws that prohibit the commercial capture of aquarium fish. Which is just as well, really, as these shy guys are reluctant to breed in captivity. So the protection of their population in the wild is all that really keeps the rare masked angelfish from the brink of extinction. Since the fish was first discovered and documented in 1975, it's only grown in popularity. Add to that the rarity of the fish, its unique appearance, and extremely limited availability, and you have all of the ingredients for an epic price tag. Number 7. Bladefin Basslet This little peep into the aquariums of the world's most dedicated and deep-pocketed fish lovers is fascinating, isn't it? I mean, who knew just how much these colorful creatures cost? There have to be a lot of fish tanks out there with contents that are worth more than the houses that they stand in. Anyways, here we are with another rare little specimen, and this one's just a tiddler. The dinky little bladefin basslet may only measure a teeny tiny one and a half inches long, but he's worth more than per inch than any other aquarium fish out there. The diminutive sea creature can sell for as much as $10,000. $10,000 for a one and a half inch fish. These red and white fish are native to the crystal clear waters of the Caribbean, but they're increasingly rare and difficult to find. Living at depths that approach 500 feet, which is why collectors are prepared to shell out such lavish wads of cash to get a hold of one. Bladefin basslets may be small, but they're definitely fierce. Where they live in underwater caves at great depths, they've adapted to being feisty little fighters, so these miniature fish may not play well with others. Be careful where you do keep them. You don't want to just pop them in with your priceless peppermint angelfish only to find the vicious little so-and-sos taking a $10,000 chunk out of it. This aquarium lark is a dangerous business. Number 6. The Golden Basslet this little basslet is another fish that has collectors getting their knickers in a twist over its unique appearance and rarity. And these enthusiasts, well, they're prepared to part with a huge chunk of change in order to get a hold of just one golden basslet. The going price for this deep water collectible stands at a staggering $8,000. Like the others of this deep dwelling category, the thing that makes them so very expensive is that these fish are just so gosh darn tricky to find. 
I imagine that ever since they saw Finding Nemo, these aquarium fish have figured out an even better way to keep out of the pesky nets and far off aquariums of landlubbers. They live in deep water, or else they do get put in a tank. Much like other captive fish we've learned about today, these little golden guys are also pretty reluctant to breed in captivity. I mean, there are always people staring at you. It's like living in a goldfish bowl. So golden Cuban basslets are rarely available to buy, which keeps them at the top of many collectors wish lists, even though they are so very pricey indeed. Number 5. The Neptune Grouper $6,000 here we have another one of those cheeky deep ocean dwellers who are so scarce that they make big bucks when they do finally surface. The Neptune grouper is a snazzy combination of pink and yellow stripes with bright orange featurings on younger fish of the species. While their outfits do make them a desirable addition to the connoisseur's fancy fish tank, it's their reputation as elusive and tricky to catch that really makes them command the highest prices. And if and when the Neptune grouper becomes available to purchase, aquarium fish enthusiasts can expect to pay out at least $6,000 to pop one of these chaps into their tank. So you're going to need deep pockets if this fish strikes your fancy. Oddly enough though, these guys do turn up on ice at market stalls for a bargain price of just 50 bucks. But then they aren't going to look so pretty in your aquarium if they're just floating around on the surface with bits gradually dropping off. Cheaper though, that's for sure. That's because the cost of capturing the Neptune grouper alive and well is what makes it so sought after. Like any other deep sea diver, the decompression process needed to bring these fish to the surface is the tricky part. But if you want it on your plate, there's no need to worry about keeping it alive, is there? Number 4. The Australian Flathead Perch $5,000 a source of obsession for some aquarium enthusiasts, the Australian flathead perch is one of the rarest of fish, and it has a price tag to prove it. Relatively small, the Australian flathead perch grows up to be about 6 inches long, but they can display a veritable rainbow of colors, from blue to orange, making them a welcome addition to a fish tank. They also have a long time to live. For such a little fish, so collectors can see the purchase price of $5,000 as a kind of long-term investment. However, if you can actually manage to figure out how to breed these bad boys, you'll be laughing all the way to the bank. These stripy fish look pretty jazzy, but they're extremely hard to come by, and with only very limited recent success at breeding the species in captivity, there are still so few known to be captive in the world that getting your hands on one is a once-in-a-lifetime event. However, don't worry, if you can't get a hold of one, there are plenty more fish in the sea after all. Number 3. Wrought Iron Butterfly Fish $2,700 now, I gotta say, I like this one. It looks like if a goth had designed a fish, and then accidentally dropped it in just a tiny little bit of custard. These unusual fish are native to Japan, and only live in very few areas of the region. They have an almost metallic look to them, black and uh, kind of like wrought iron, I guess, but with just a flash of bright yellow on the tip of their tails and rear fins. They're definitely a striking fish and are highly prized by the people who love to collect such things. So if you'd like to pop one of these spectacular swimmers into your tank, it's going to set you back a cool $2,700. Oh, and by the way, these guys like to hang around in schools, usually with at least 10 others of their kind. So unless you want a depressed butterfly fish sulking all over the shop, ruining the effect of your aquarium, you're going to have to fork out for at least a few of these beauties. I hope you brought your deep pockets. Number 2. The Clarion Angelfish $2,500 that's right, another angelfish, but this one has some trippy features that'll make it perfect for gazing at if you enjoy that psychedelic vibe, man. A saltwater fish with an orange body and bright blue stripes which appear to glow when light shines on them. I mean, orange and blue? That's a pretty bold color combo. But glowing like a radioactive comic book villain? That's some original style right there. You gotta hand it to the clarion angelfish, 
It sure has all the attention-grabbing moves and a cheeky price point that'll make your wallet squeak as well. Hailing from the waters around Mexico, the clarion angelfish is now listed as vulnerable, so you probably won't be spotting one on your vacation. As time goes on, these valuable sea creatures are getting more and more rare in the wild, so they're mostly bred in captivity, and that's a fairly tricky procedure on its own. These angelfish cost an upwards of $2,500 because of that. But just look at how pretty they are. Oh, what the heck, these guys are a bargain. I'll take half a dozen. Number one, the electric eel. Now this has got to be one of the coolest but yet strangest fish out there. The electric eel can actually generate its own electricity. These guys live in freshwater environments and are famous for their bizarre and dangerous ability to produce high voltage in order to stun their prey or defend themselves from predators, if you will. They're mostly found in the Amazon and river areas of South America, and I should imagine also in cartoon villain layers as well. They hide in the dark and gloomy waters, using a weird electrical radar system to find their way around. They're no tiddlers either. The electric eel can grow to an average of six feet long, but they can get much larger. Their electrical stun effect can take out prey of some size, and although it's not really enough to kill a human, the trouble is that it can knock you out and then you just easily drown. Ugh. So if you're a cartoon villain and you fancy an unusual pet that looks cool but can also zap stuff to death, then you can probably actually purchase a young electric eel for a staggeringly affordable $100. But if you want a bigger and much more scarier one, they range to around $1,000. It's the perfect addition to all of your evil underground layers everywhere. <laughs> Well, thanks for taking this swim with me through the deep, dark world of fancy fish and their followers. With my track record on aquariums, I'm a fish out of water in the business, so I think I'll just stick to funfair goldfish for now. But what about you? Have you got the urge to dash out and bid on a rare angelfish? Or perhaps you suddenly have a craving for sushi? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.